The Workbench Startup Editor setting lets you control what content is shown when you first open a new workspace. Now, by default, you can see that VS Code will show this welcome page. So you have a list of recently opened workspaces, some links to documentation, and then some ways to run commands and interact with VS Code as well. Now, if we wanted to, we can use this Workbench Startup Editor setting to actually disable this page. We could instead have VS Code open a new blank editor whenever you're starting a new workspace, or we could even have VS Code go and open a README for the current project and show that automatically whenever we open a workspace. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to first open up my settings with Control, comma, or Command, comma on Mac. I'm going to search for Startup. And I want the Workbench Startup Editor setting here. Again, you can see that the default setting for this is welcome page. So every time you create a new workbase or a new workspace, VS Code is going to open the welcome page. Now, if we wanted to disable this entirely, we can just go and set that to none. So this will mean that no startup page will be opened. There'll be no startup editor. If I go and I create a new window here, you can see that VS Code has not gone and opened anything. So it is just showing the normal watermark here. Now let's look at some of these other options as well. So if we wanted a new file to be opened whenever we created a new window or opened a new workspace, we can instead say new untitled file. So let's just go and set that. And now if I go and create a new window here, you can see it has this untitled file. And then if I go and I try to save this, it'll prompt me for where I actually want to save this to. So that can be kind of a time saver if you just want to get to editing right away. Let me close this. And there's a few other options that you can also use to interact with workspaces. So one of the options is README. So I'm going to go here and select README. And this will open the README in the workspace and offer a preview of it whenever you open a new workspace. So if I go here and say README and create a new window, and I'm going to open the TypeScript project here. So I'll just do recent TypeScript. You can see that what is going to happen here is that VS Code has actually opened the README for the TypeScript project and is now showing that in the Markdown preview. So I can go and browse through this and actually get a nice visual representation of the README here, and I can just read through that. And that will be automatically opened if a workspace contains any file called README. Let's just close that. Now, one final option is the welcome page and empty workbench setting, and that will show the welcome page if you have an empty workbench. Otherwise, it will show nothing. So let's go set that. I'll create an empty window here, and you can see it's showing the welcome page. But as soon as I go and I open the TypeScript project here, it is not going to restore anything because it is actually uh, it has workspace content at this point. So that's a quick look at the Workbench Startup Editor setting.